one of the best superstars around. The following contest is a tables match. Making his way to the ring from Buffalo, New York. Weighing in at 213 pounds, the Dragon Slater, Daniel Garcia. Big time match on tap. When the competition level is this high, you can bet it will be memorable. He's in perhaps the best physical condition of his life. He knows what it takes to reach the top here in WWE. Oh, baby, let the good times roll. I figured you'd like this goof. You probably laugh at all his jokes, too. I happen to find Happy Corbin extremely entertaining. And his opponent from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds. Happy You know, here's a guy who was at rock bottom. He was begging people for money. Then he gets lucky, he strikes it rich, and now he treats everyone like a bunch of idiots. And all it took was one lucky roll of the dice to change Happy Corbin's fortunes. Is one big happy jerk. Spoken like a true loser. This is WWE's benchmark match that tests the combatants like they've never been tested. The truth of the matter is that very few WWE superstars have ever competed in an Ironman match. This match proves who is the best overall athlete in WWE. It's a gut check like no other. Winning an Ironman match puts you in an elite category as a competitor. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. From way up, and Corbin may have felt that coming. Oh, what a nasty knee lift. Boom, what a forearm. Oh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. Ouch. Nice shark back there. Guys, where does pacing come into play for this matchup? Well, if a competitor can dictate the pace of the match, they can control things enough to get a fall, and possibly another. But well, pacing is mission critical. Oftentimes, your opponent's thinking the same thing you are. Go for the quick fall and play defense. He's taking this to the floor now. And he goes into the ring. What's he concocting? Take him down. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. Stomping down. Well placed kick. Able to parry that one. He's taking some good hits.
Corbin gets stymied. Oh, my God! He is a sight to behold. Take a picture while you can, everyone. Punch right in the head. Free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Coming back in the ring. Powerless position to be in right now. He steps foot in the ring again. Taking this one back to the ring now. There's some power behind that punch. so far. Absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. He's taking this to the floor now. Great counter. Fishing for something beneath the ring. Ooh, he got all of the knee. He'll head to the ring. He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be second best. And this one might be headed ringside. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. With all this in mind, take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from rearranging furniture. All right, back to it, returning to the ring.
Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. Oh, what a move. It's that time. The pick drop. This match may be nearing its limit. This has just been an absolute massacre. No. Break his arm. Vicious. And Baron now is being chopped down. Corbin has been snuffed out. And the anguish on his face continues. Tapping out isn't going to save him here. He's back into the ring. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. Oh, and he's adamantly in control. He can't allow himself to let up now. Back suplex. Look at him. Pride and poise personified. And Corbin with a counter. Corbin finally creates some more offense for himself. If Corbin was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. He is truly feeling it right now, as well he should. Back in the ring now. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. Barrett caught unprepared. Laid out. And there's the tap. And come on now, the ref has got to get in there and force a break. Corbin avoids the offense. Planet. Taking it outside the ring now. He'll take things into the ring. Someone's about to have a really bad night. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Good God. Good God. And Corbin still dealing out a heavy load of damage. I think Corbin has a sight set on the finish line and is going to run anyone over to get there. I've got to say, the amount of punishment we've seen in the match would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is no way. Astounding power. And the days! Back it up. Corbin's got this. Oh, Set it up. Nice neck breaker. is just terrible to watch. He's in so much pain and can't do anything. Neckbreaker. Ouch. Looking for a high-risk move. Perched up top. Another turning point can come at any second, and that can be the end of the end zone. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. He returns to the ring. Stomping. Ouch. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. Chunk slam backbreaker. Taking this outside. This could be good. Heading back to the ring. And he's taking this to the outside now. And now with him going for the table, we're just in straight up appetite for destruction territory here. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, 
no worries. opponent.